Now on my last 2022 High Velocity Wrangler, I had a fully custom MHF wheel. And I gotta say, I really love that thing. That was an awesome steering wheel. I really miss it though too. So when MHF reached out to us and said, hey guys, like you have two brand new 2024s, what are you doing for steering wheels? We immediately knew that we wanted to customize ours a little bit. Now in my Jeep, I've got a 392. So the steering wheel is already really nice. But today we're gonna be pulling this out and installing a new wheel into this Jeep and then install Ryan's. Now Ryan, when he went on MHF's website to pick out his steering wheel, let's just say, I think he sorted from like price high to low and was like that's the one I want but I think what his choice that he picked is really gonna go well with all the accent colors and I'm excited to see that one Okay guys, so the first thing I did was disconnect the battery. We're inside the Jeep. I've got a small pick and what we're gonna do is actually just go right behind here and there's a small little tab on either side of the steering wheel. So pulling that out, you can expose right behind there, which is a 10 millimeter socket or 10 millimeter bolt, I should say. So we're gonna go ahead and get on here with our 10. So once you have those off, now it's time that we're gonna pull the airbag cover off. So you're gonna pull it out towards you. And then I'm not gonna show disconnecting this on camera, but now's the part that you're gonna need to. As far as the new wheel is concerned, I kind of wanted to go with something that really tied in the interior, but also gave me more of a subtle blacked out look. So when I kind of custom spec the wheel out, I did a flat or a matte carbon fiber bottom. And these are flat bottom wheels too. So they give you a lot more room on the bottom to get in and out. And then also I did leather, smooth leather around the sides and the top with that center indicator so that way, like if I'm deciding to rally car drive or something, I can see where the center is so I can respond and go back to there. No, I did that because it looks cool. The other thing we did, we did the actual steering wheel trim in a satin or a matte black carbon fiber as well to match. So that'll go on there. And then the center airbag cover, we're actually gonna swap out too. And that one, instead of doing all the chrome and stuff like this here, or putting a red in there, we did carbon fiber ring and then completely blacked out the Jeep letters. So I think it's gonna look really nice on the inside of that. So here's one thing I like to do also, guys. I take photos while I'm doing this, just because it really does help when you're reinstalling it. So I've got the airbag disconnected. This is a large size socket in the middle, so you need to remove this socket. And if you guys recall us actually doing this trim here, we um, we had to remove the wheel weight. There's a wheel weight. I'm, gonna, I'm curious if yours has that. Here we go, Ryan. Here's the wheel weight again. This is so odd to me. It's like heavy. Remember you felt it last time. It's like got, got a little bit of weight to it. So we got both of these disconnected. They would go on either side of your clock spring here. And then you can just pull the wheel out towards you. Your airbag connectors will go out. And also be careful too. I just kind of did a little bit. Don't turn your clock spring too much. Um, one of my old jails, I actually had the steering, the connector, the shaft that goes down through, I had that disconnected and went in and spun the wheel and this clock spring shredded and nothing in the steering wheel worked. So we got the steering wheel on the table. We're gonna grab a small Torx bit. Let's see what Torx bit. A T20 Torx to remove one, two, three, four Torx screws. These are gonna be reused in the new steering wheel. So we'll go ahead and pull these off. Be a little gentle with this because they just go into plastic standoffs in the steering wheel. And also cool thing about MHF is you can kind of customize the wheel too. So you don't need to do like full on airbag covers, you know, have everything done. You can actually just swap over your stock airbag cover. Like I could drop this right back in, but yeah, you can kind of do it a little bit more to your budget and to your taste as well. Kind of as mild or as wild as you want to go. So we're going to pull these four off here. Yeah, or very cheap like Ryan's setup. Mm -hmm. Wait till you see it though. Yeah, wait so till you sick. see it, yeah. Uh. It's sick. All right, so we're gonna take the caps off for those. We will reuse those in our brand new carbon fiber paddle shifters. It should pull out just ever so slightly. And we can use our little pick to depress that right there. Remove this one also. I have the screws still in both of them. Let's pop those out. We'll set the screws right here next to the paddle shifters, but there's a before and after too. Carbon fibre. Okay, we've got most of that wiring popped out. These just run right along those that little channel there. And then actually the back half of this steering wheel comes off as well. It's kind of major surgery. And like I said, Ryan, you kind of know me. If you guys aren't comfortable doing something like this, definitely take it to a shop. What do you think, Ryan? Mm -hmm. Because... You are. <laughs> and I'm not a shop. I'm gonna keep as much as the wiring intact as I can, just like this. But we do need to remove 
our instrument panel from the back. Do you think I've scared the audience so far at this point? Nah. It's crazy though. I know how to do all this, but I don't know how to off-road or wheel my Jeep. No. Isn't that nuts? That's no, crazy, dude. It's just, that's insane. Yeah, so with these, you're gonna pull out like little piles there. This will pop out kind of towards you or, oh there's, oh, there's one more. Hang on, just when I said, I've done this before. There's one more little, little bugger hiding right there because there's a trim piece. So depending on what you have, if you've got adaptive crews, all that, like this Jeep is loaded up, it's got all those goodies. You have a little trim piece that goes in there. Mine should be able to load. Yeah, because Ryan has like, he don't, I don't even think he has buttons on yeah, his steering wheel. Yeah. It's lucky you give you power have, steering. It doesn't have a horn either. <laughs> yeah, it goes <laughs> Yeah, so see that? So that's the buttons. I'm gonna leave it just like this because what I'm gonna do, Ryan, is I'm gonna just leave the new piece like this and just swap it all over. This section, flat bottom. Yeah, you can see that how kind of, it's flat compared to the stock wheel. And I just like the flat carbon on it. I think it looks a lot, hell of a lot cleaner. Yep, it's reassembly time. At least part of it. And I gotta do the airbag cover. Okay guys, so we've got the steering wheel kind of put back together. I'm just gonna double check. I had to wire this up for the, uh, for the actual heated steering wheel too, which you can option. And I wanna make sure everything's done right. So when you're setting this on, I'm referencing all the photos that I took. I'm kind of looking through everything and I'm just making sure that all of this is set into place. So here's the part where you wanna go easy. Once again, guys, you're threading these into little standoffs and this kind of suctions the whole wheel together. It's very important all your wiring is correct too. So, but just go slow with these. And if it doesn't feel like it's going, double check all your wiring, check all your tolerances on the inside but we're just gonna get these started. And I'm kind of pulling the assembly together as one piece right now also, just to help it along. Pulling on the inner part while I tighten this too, to help it along a little bit. And if I do happen to break this one, then the decision's been made and I'll throw a teal one on from Distinction Applied. Why do I keep saying teal? It's bikini. Bikini, dude. I'll be wearing it next week. A bikini. Look for good edge, see you on a good solid crisp edge around there. These tucked in nicely, check your button functionality. So I can go, man, 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 man. Yeah, everything feels good. Okay, now let's flip it back over. Two more screws down here. But first, let me throw my Unpadlet shifters on. Don't go crazy on any of these screws. Wouldn't Doesn't that feel faster? Know. Yeah, you wouldn't know, because you don't have that, but you're gonna have a more expensive wheel than I have. <laughs> It's, sick, it's only fitting for Ryan's budget build. But that's, I mean, it kind of is when you think about it. We went with a wheel that was more expensive because we didn't spend as much on the Jeep, so we have more money. I just check all my buttons too. Besides the airbag cover, which is gonna get swapped over from this to this. So that's gonna get swapped over there. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and swap this over. We're not gonna show you what this looks like finished yet. We're gonna head over and work on Ryan's Jeep. And then at the end, we're gonna show you what both wheels look like. We're super excited, but just give us a few minutes. We're gonna swap Ryan's out and you kind of saw most of the install with this one. So we're just gonna get some beauty shots with his. And then we'll show you both of them finalized and you guys can vote down below which one you like better. I gotta give Ryan infinite bleep that out for this wheel. Look at this thing. Like, are you kidding me? Natural laid carbon fiber on the bottom, on the top, a gold indicator ring. Look at that, it's like probably 24 karat gold mm -hmm. in there. Bronze stitching. Oh, there's, oh look, wait, there's even carbon fiber in that ring there too. Carbon fiber here. This wheel is neither heated <laughs> nor paddle shifters. I don't know, I, I really think it's a sick wheel. We went with the just standard leather on the outside here, bronze stitching. Yeah, this is gonna look really good. It's gonna look super fancy inside your Jeep though, so. So if you guys didn't see, I don't know if this video is gonna go up before or after. We added some gold accents to Ryan's Jeep too. So we got the Jeep badge there, trail rated, custom done by Distinction Applied. Tan armor light on the interior. The Jeep was just ceramic coated too. So we got a lot going on with this vehicle. The nice thing is too, this is really gonna blend with that interior. And then if we change up the seat like we're talking about as well. So yeah, I'm giving Ryan grief because I think this is one of MHF's most expensive wheels, but it's nice. I mean, this is a really, really good looking wheel. I kind of like this natural carbon. That's when they just kind of just lay it on there versus weaved like mine is. That looks really cool. So yeah, let's get everything swapped over so we can get it installed. 
Here you guys go, check it out. This one is all done. I love the look of this. You guys gotta let me know in the comments. I kind of wanted to match a couple things, right? So the red stitching matches the red stitching on the dash, as well as just some subtle red touches on the door card. So there's some red stitching over here on the door card. Leather on the top, so smooth leather on the top, smooth leather on the sides, and then matte carbon on the back, and then the matte carbon all the way around and in the ring here. This very much just completely blacks out the center here and it doesn't like distract you too. I really like the look of this. I think it looks really clean. It'll let me know when my Jeep's centered off here. And honestly, the install is not too bad either. You guys, you do have to rip it apart. And if you're not comfortable doing that, definitely talk to a shop. But let us know down below in the comments what you think of this. On today's viewer rig of the video, we are checking out Jorge's 2001 Jeep TJ. Now he's got a four inch lift on here with some BF Goodrich 33 inch all-terrain tires, a set of the Method bronze race wheels, which look amazing, a Badland winch, worn front and rear bumpers, Badland high lift jack, as well as some aux beam fog lights, 410 Yukon gears front and rear, and a slip yoke eliminator. This TJ holds a soft spot in my heart, just the style of this. This is exactly what I remember all of my classmates rolling around in high school, and honestly it was kind of one of the epitomes. You had that beautiful, beautiful forest green and tan interior, the white Sahara on the outside that was all color matched, and pretty much the first time that Jeep had ever done that to a vehicle. I love to see something like this, and honestly, it keeps bringing us back that we should build something like this on the channel, and I love to see them here, especially one that looks just as good as this one does here. If you guys want to have a chance at your rig being featured, be sure to hit us up through Instagram or just simply send us an email. Check it out, guys. This is fully installed here. Carbon fiber wheel, got the airbag all connected up here. The horn works. <laughs> which means we did the install right. We just connected the battery, everything up underneath the hood too once we were done, just to try it out. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Let us know down below in the comments. I think this one looks fantastic too. I like the flat bottom wheel. I really think that is a big benefit, especially when you have a lifted vehicle like this. When you're jumping in and out, this is a lot easier for your leg to kind of go by it, especially when you hop, have to hop into your Jeep like we do. Super nice looking wheel though here. I really like the gold that kind of, that's inlaid underneath here for the center marker. Yeah, it's, it's nice looking. Let me know about that down below in the comments. Let Ryan Know which one you like better i don't know maybe we'll make it like a friendly wager on whose was better like five dollars like first beer at coyote ugly is on the other a huge shout out to mhf auto lighting for sending us both of these if you guys want to check out a custom wheel definitely go to their website tell them dirt road cred sent you i'm matt i just had a good time installing a couple airbags and playing around with these steering wheels ryan's behind the camera and we want you to get out there and earn yours